Okay, so hi guys. Um, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and do this problem. So it says to solve the following quadratic using quadratic formula. Now, um, I have not done, or I, I really, I have done videos over quadratic formula, but those were from a long time ago. But I am going to go ahead and introduce you guys to the quadratic formula. So um, give me a second. So if we have this kind of equation, and it's ax squared plus bx plus c, right? Then we know that the following is true. The quadratic formula is as follows. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? So this is the quadratic formula. So we're going to use this to solve this here. Now, one of the things that I notice from this problem right off the bat is that we can divide both sides by 3 because they have 3 as the common factor. So if I go ahead and do that, I will get the following. It's going to be 3x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And now I can label my a, b, and c here. So let me kind of rewrite it so I know I have 3x squared uh, plus negative 4x. So and then plus 3. So that's what I have. And now using the quadratic formula, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 4, oops, and then c is equal to 3. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do, it, do this. So it's going to be x equals negative the quantity negative 4 plus or minus the square root of the quantity negative 4 quantity squared minus 4 times 3 so times 3 and then times 3 which is the c part and then all over 2a so 2 times 3 and now the main um, the main point here is to just simplify this expression so negative of negative 4 is just going to be 4 plus or minus square root. Negative 4 quantity squared is 16 minus, and it's going to be 12 times 3, and then all over 6. So then this will be x equals negative, I'm sorry, x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 36 all over 6. And then here we have x equals 4 plus or minus, and 16 minus 36 is negative 20, so I'm going to put negative 20 here all over 6. And notice that we have a negative there, so I'm going to say x equals 4 plus or minus, and in case y'all didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is i, so it's going to be plus or minus i, and then um, square root 20 all over 6, and now we just have to simplify this part. So the square root of 20 is really the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, which is equal to 2 square root 5. So we're going to put this in for the square root of 20, okay? So this will give us x equals 4 plus or minus 2i square root 5 all over 6, which is x equals 4 plus or minus, and actually here. So then we're going to get um, 2. We have to factor the 2 out, so we're going to do 2 times 2 plus or minus i square root 5, and then all over 2 times 3, because three, 2 times 3 is 6. So then this will cancel out, right? And so then we have x equals 2 plus or minus i square root 5 all over 3. 
And so our answer becomes x equals 2 plus i square root 5 all over 3, or x equals 2 minus i square root 5 all over 3. And these guys are our two answers for this problem. So um, I'm going to end the video here since I'm only doing one example per video as of right now. Um, so when so with that being said, guys, uh, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. And uh, also, thank you so much for watching. And please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.